126. It can be written as 2 into 63 because 126 is equal to 2 into 63. Then you get 2 table. So 2 and 63. We know that here 2 is a prime number. So we leave this 2 because we are going to find out prime factors for 126. Let us see for 63. 63 can be written as in 3 table we get 21. So 3 to 21 is 63. So let's find this. 3 to 21. So here 3 is a prime number and 21 is not a prime number because we need to take the only prime numbers. 21 can be written as 3 to 7. So these both are prime numbers. So 21 can be expressed as 3 to 7. So let us see here. And next number 7. 7 is a prime number itself. So we cannot factor, we cannot take the factors for it. So let's round this 7. Let us see here the prime numbers. What we got here? 3 7. 3. Sorry. 7, 3, 3, and 2. The prime factors for 126. So 126 is equal to 2 into 3 into 3 into 7. 2 into 3 into 3 into 7. So these are the prime factors for 126 for using the treatment theorem. Highest common factor NCF. The NCF of two numbers is nothing but the highest common factor of these two numbers. Highest common factor of two natural numbers is called HCF. So let us find out the highest common factors for 64 and 20, 64 and 24. So here, using prime factorization method, let us see here 24 it can be expressed as. we got here 12 and 24 and always we need to divide 
divide with the smallest number. So 24 is divided with 12. So when we divide with 12, we will be getting here 2 times and uh, 12 will be getting here 2 times. 12, 2 times it will be 24. So 2 twelves are 24 and we got the remainder 0. Then we will stop it here. The reason the last divisor what we got here is 12. We need to understand here, we will not take the quotient part here, we will take only divisor. The last divisor is 12. So HCF of these two numbers, HCF of 12,24 is 12 only. So we got here, the result is 12. And for this note, both the numbers we got, the result is 12. And then we take 12, and the next number is 64. Let's find out the HCF of 12 and 64. We got here, the result is 12. So let's find out the HCF of 12,64. And always we know that the smallest number will divide. So 12 and 64. And then let will cancel for 5 times. So 5 twelves are 60. And then we get after 4 remainder. And this process we know that the last device last remainder here remainder will take it as a divisor the remainder will take it as a divisor and the last divisor what is that that will become dividend so we have written as a dividend now here and now let us divide with 4 and we divide with 4 we cancel for 3 times then we get 0 remainder here the last divisor is 4 so let's see here is 4 so finally we got the 3 numbers here here Let's see here of 12,24,60 4 is 4 because finally we got 4 is a divisor, last divisor so when we took for these two numbers we got the divisor the last divisor is 12, this is an HCF and we got 12 and 64 we, we divided the key and we got the last divisor as 4 so this is called HCF of 12,24 and 64 let's find out LCM least common multiple is nothing but this common multiple. A common multiple of two numbers. A common multiple of two numbers is called as least common multiple. So let us find out LCM, least common multiple of 36 and 12 using long division method. 36 and 12. Here we know that. The least common multiple 2, 3, 5, 7. Let us take any one of the prime number and uh, let us take 2 because 2 can divide, 36 and 2 can divide, 12 also. It is a common for both the numbers. So when we divide this both, so we will get 18 and 6 here. Then 2 again we divide, 2 is common for 18 and 2 is common for 6 and then. When we divide, it is 9 and 3. So 2 is an odd. 2 will not divide. 9 and 3. So let us take next number. That is not 3. So when we take 3, it will cancel for 3 times. This it will cancel for 1 time. So after that, let us see. We get a 3 table. We will be getting 1. So 1 time here, 1. We write same as it is. Let's find out the what numbers we got? What are the prime numbers we got here? Left hand side. It is 2, 2, 3, 3. Let us find out the product of it. And see if it is equal to. Product of this all the prime factors. And because this is a common for these both the numbers. Common for these both the numbers. That is 2 into 2. 3 into 3. So 2 into 2 is 4. 3 into 3 is 9. 4 times are 36. 36 is a common multiple for 36 and 12. This method is called long division method and uh, to find out the LCM. Let's find out the LCM for prime factorization method. Here, first number is 36. So, 36 we know that. Here, 
prime numbers we use prime factorization as well as already we have discussed about the prime factorization here we need to find out the prime numbers 2 3 5 7 11 13 and so on so here first prime number is 2 so let us cancel in this 18 times so next one two table we can use and this nine times two table again and this three times so we cannot take two table here because this is the three so let's use next number that is three one time so we got 36 and the prime numbers and the product of prime numbers that is two into two two into three so next number is 12 so let's take 12 to 12 and we know the first prime number we'll take it two so it will cancel for six times and after and three table if we cancel three times if we cancel next three times three table if we cancel for one time let us see prime factors for this 12 is equals to 2 into 2 into 3 so there is a common multiple for this both the numbers let's find out it's a common for this both and it is common for this both and after that Common for this board, and we need to find out the LCM is common multiple. So here we take the common multiple of this all, and we take non-common multiple which is not there in this. So two also we include it. So two there in this two numbers two is common. So LCM is equals to the common multiples of two. One of the two we take, and next one next two. We will also take 3 here, then after, which is not common, we just go the numbers and there is 3, 2 is left out, that 3, 2 also we will take here. So let's recall again, and we will take the common numbers of it, the common numbers are 1 of the 2, and next 2, next 3, so 2, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, and we have taken the common multiples, common numbers, and this go, after then taking the common numbers, the numbers which are not in common that is 2 also will come so it will not be cancelled in 3 then after it will not be cancelled in 5 because its unit space is dot 5 and 0 so it is not in 3 by 5 so 7 will take 7 table it will cancel for 7 times then we will be getting 49 and uh, 63 will be left out 7 minus 63 then after 79 79 is a prime number we will not get in any table 79 0. so the broken of prime numbers is 2212 is equals to 2 into 2 into 7 into 79 these are the prime numbers 